All right, so what we have for, for 11 is we got a piecewise function and we want to find the derivative. Well, h of x is a composite of f of g of x. So how we're going to do this is basically we're going to find the equation for each line that I'm going to plug it into each additional function and then we're going to take the, der the derivative. So finding g of x, they point to g of x here on the line, but, or uh, on the graph, but I want to figure out what the equation of this line is. So I need to figure out where it intersects down here. Um, what I can do is I can count based off of it's so the rise is four four and the runs three so my slope for g of x g of x slope is equal to um, four over three and I'll pick my point down here at the bottom where it crosses the x-axis so what I'm gonna have here is y minus y1 is equal to the slope or m times x minus x1 so I'm gonna have uh, let's see here so y minus zero because it crosses that y equals zero there at the x-axis, and then I'll have four-thirds, then x minus two. So this, the equation for this is gonna be four, four-thirds, so I'll make it four x over three minus eight over three. Okay, so we have this equation, this is g of x right here. Yeah, this isn't perfectly set up. Um, all right, so f of x, it's, it's pretty nice because it's just a linear equation. It's it's a negative, well, it's got a slope of negative one, and it crosses the y-axis at one, two, three, four, five. So f of x is equal to negative x plus five. So all we have to do here for f of g of x is going to be negative, and we're plugging for x any point, um, the, this equation. So negative uh, quantity four over three x minus eight over three, and then the plus five. So um, I don't have to worry about getting this too perfect. So negative four thirds x plus eight over three, and this would be 15 over five, uh, 15 over three. I mean, you can add these, I'll just do it 23 over three. But since we're taking the derivative, so this whole quantity here is equal to h of x. So h prime of x is going to be equal to, we just have one variable here and that's all we care about is negative four over three. And that is part B. All right, yeah, I know it's a little sloppy, but hopefully you understand what I did there. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a